Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers the new layout coming to Google Meet in May of 2021. So Google Meet has gone through a lot of changes over the past year as Google has responded to the needs of educators, students, and other users. Thankfully, Google has continued to listen to our needs, and they have just announced a new round of updates coming out in May of 2021. To keep you and your students from getting caught off guard and to make the most of these new features, let's take a look at the new layout. One big change that you'll notice is all of the controls for Google Meet have now been moved to a bar at the bottom of the screen. Here's the old version where there were some tools at the bottom, but there were also tools at the top. And here is the new version where all of the tools are across the bottom. Here we'll see things like the button to mute the mic, to turn our camera on and off, to turn on and off captioning, to raise our hand, to present our screen, the uh, more options button to get into things such as recording uh, the meeting or changing our settings. Next to there is the hang up button, which is uh, brightly colored and not close to the mute button so that hopefully we won't accidentally click on that. Uh, and then on the far right here, we have the meeting details button we have the attendees button where we can see all the people from the meeting and access the host controls. There is the chat button and we also have our activities button for things like breakout rooms, polls, Q&A and so forth. Having all these buttons at the bottom should make it a lot easier to access things quickly and give more room up above to see all of the attendees. Another big change addresses one of the most common complaints about Google Meet. In the old version of Google Meet, when you're presenting your screen, you get this big rectangle that reads, you are presenting to everyone. Unfortunately, this box takes up an entire side of the Meet screen, which really reduces the number of students that you can view. Additionally, the box doesn't show you a preview of what you're presenting, so it makes it pretty much a, a big waste of space. With the new updates to Google Meet, when you present your screen, you will now get a presentation tile in Meet with several awesome new features. The first cool thing is that the presentation tile will actually show you a live preview of what you're presenting. This can be so helpful to give you confirmation that you're actually presenting what you intend to be. Better yet, if you hover above the middle of the presentation, you'll now get a button to un pin the presentation tile. When you click on this, the presentation tile will shrink down to the size of your attendee tiles. This will allow you to see your students much better. Well, at least up to 49 tiles at a time. At any point, if you need to, you can click on the pin button again so that you can see your presentation larger and click it again to reduce its size. When you're done presenting, there's a stop presenting link up in the top right hand corner to stop the presentation. And finally, in the new Google Meet layout, you'll also have more options for viewing yourself. If you hover above your video tile, you'll now see a button that will allow you to switch between viewing yourself as part of the grid of attendees and if you click on it, popping yourself out as a floating picture. As a floating picture, you can now drag and drop your video all around the screen. And you can also grab the corners to make your video larger or smaller. And again, you can click on that center button again to return yourself from a floating video to a video inside of the tiles. Now, whether you're in the grid or floating, you also have another button that is the minimize button. If you click that on your video, what it will do is hide your video feed from yourself so that you have more room to see other people. At any point, you can click on the same button again to expand and put yourself back onto your screen. This new layout for Google Meet is rolling out in May. For schools that are on the rapid release schedule, these new features will start rolling out on May 3rd, 
2021, but may take up to 15 days to reach everyone. For schools on the scheduled release option, the start date will be May 17th, 2021, and again, may take up to 15 days to roll out to all of your users. So that's a quick overview of the new layout options and features coming to Google Meet. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meetvideos.